Well, the new <coughs> HRO catalog is here. Looks very similar to one a few years ago. In fact, uh, she set it on the table and I thought it was an old one. You get a memorial posting about Chip Margelli. It's interesting they don't really acknowledge that yeah, a lot of the other stuff he did. Like Yesu, I guess. I think he wrote all the manuals. What do we got in here? Tri band high output power uh, DMR. Um, DMR MD. Um, yeah. Tier 1 and Tier 2. I've never really understood what the difference between Tier 1 and Tier 2 is. Is that uh, having two time slots versus one? 220. I like these Elenco radios with the microphones in the front. I've got one for two meters. A six meter only, which is kind of cool. 50 watts. The uh, HTs. I don't know how much their HTs cost. I had this radio. It actually wasn't bad. It's uh, basically um, the software is really similar to one of the other radios. I, I liked it better than the UV380 that I have now. I wonder who the hell buys these. Hmm. Or how about these? These are like three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollar receivers only. Oh, we have all these YouTube stuff on here now all of a sudden. I'm surprised they're still selling this radio. It's a good radio though. I don't know if this does like a full 100 watts or if it just kind of does like what all the other crap does. I think it's older. I think it does full 100 watts on sideband. I know we were talking about that earlier. I've heard so many people complain about this radio. I saw one for sale on Craigslist. The guy had got it back from Kenwood and he's like, I'm not even opening the box. There's a warranty on it from Kenwood. Whoever wants to buy it, come get it. This radio here is still being sold and it's not cheap either. It's like $1,700, $1,800. It's really old. So we have the 200 watt, the 10. And they're advertising the field. All the major expensive Yesu microphones. I've got the old version of that. They've dropped all the other radios that they used to sell. I don't know. Handhelds. I have this one here. I like that one. Um, let's see. You don't see it. Oh, I had that. I took it back. GPS trackers. I don't know. Does anybody buy these? They're kind of like a signal link, but not really. I don't know. And then you have the MFJ rig pie. Some more sound card data controllers. I don't know. Of course, the king of them all, the signal link. I don't know why this publication is like glossy, reflecting. Um, this looks like a lot like an icon microphone. So people have used those with luck. The Heil. I don't remember which Heil microphone do I have. 
I think I have a HM12. I have like a old, 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 old version of it. Um, I don't know if you go grab it and look. All right, so this is the one I have. It's a uh, so this HC5 HM10, and it has that button. You hear the delay? I don't know if it's stuck. So it's got a position switch on it, but it actually has only one element. And then there's this one. This is also an HM10, supposedly. It has a switch on it. Uh, and the cord on this is supposedly for Camelot. Um So what's he selling here? The HM12. And then all the PR type microphones. Oh, here's the HM10 right in front of my damn face. Okay. The features are new HC5X and HC4 elements. The narrow response on the 4 is ideal for DX work, and full response on the HCX. Five is great for everyday rag chew. Comes equipped with a microphone clip and foam wim screen. So that is that one. Um, HC5. <laughs> but so what does it say? It says wide and narrow. I can't read it on this. But yeah, that's definitely it. Interesting. This magazine has some terrible glare. So I, I don't understand um, why it would say HC5 and 10. But also, this one doesn't have anything else in it. And I think this is supposed to be able to key the radio. Anyway, so there's a couple of different Heil ones. I've heard a bunch of these. Um, it depends on the radio. I've got a couple of these goofy things. I like this boom compared to like some of the other ones. Um, I've got like a small type of deal like that, but um, it'd be nice to have a foot switch, not for $35 though, or even one of these. Anyway, <clears throat> I had uh, that headset, it drove me nuts, the micro. Um, because it just being on one ear just kind of drove me nuts. Got one of these with the MFJ keyer on top of it. Um, I don't know if they still sell that. They've got a street key kind of like that. J47. Well, that's a copy of a bencher. <laughs> All these meters. I'd like to get one of these. Um, 1500 watt dummy load with a meter. That'd be good. Got one of these older, older ones. But honestly, I just use the uh, um, Nano VNA. You guys have seen this in my videos. Uh, it, it even says GT Power. That you can get these from Hobby King or Amazon. And uh, I don't remember what they want for them, but about three times the price. Books, QSL holders, Gordon West, Basic Electronics, Him Call. The new icon lamp.
That is a nice looking radio. It looks really nice with that extra stuff there. I like the 7610, but I think it would look better if it had more knobs like that. I just wish they'd make, you know, bigger radios. Here I am using this. Um, I can't believe they're still selling that thing. I almost want to get one. I, I really did uh, like my 7300. Um, in fact, if I could find one for a really good deal, I'd buy another one. And I would probably use it out here to do whatever. Um, this is almost actual size. <laughs> God dang. Their magazine is driving me nuts. Look at this. While I was goofing around, I got France. <laughs> okay. I'm on the goofy band that my antenna doesn't like. 5 megahertz. Wait, it's 60, 60 meters. 5, five 3, 5, 7. So anyway... Well, this is why I like FT8. I can sit here. I can make a contact and do something else. Anyway, I was looking at this. And I was like, oh, geez, that's almost actual size. This, I don't know, the light here or something. Lots of glare. I turned off one of the lights. These are cool. But I don't like the shape of that. So anyway, yeah, Palstar's got this new LA-1K amp. Cool. Covers six meters. And they still have the old tried and true Maritron stuff. I had one of these blow up on me. I have that one. I have the other one, and I've got a couple of Astrons. Look how much they want for their batteries. We've got the one over there, 15 amp hour, and then we got the six, six amp hour, six, seventy-nine dollars. That's nineteen dollars, and that that's not even on sale. Fifteen. Twenty hundred and forty nine dollars. Um, I mean, that's not worth one hundred forty nine dollars. I'm showing this again. I think these guys make some of the best tuners there are. Hey, look! You can watch this guy on YouTube. He's your ham radio sensei, Julian Frost. At least that's what he says. They're like, where did they come up with that clever thing? So when I had my 818, 817, I did not get that. I got, I didn't get that one either. They got the Z100 Plus. I don't know what the 100A is. This is actually smaller than that in form. Because it's that goofy trapezoid shape. Um, and it's a better tuner. And it's got battery tray in it anyways. I wouldn't mind getting one of these to replace this one. Um, but anyway. Got a couple switches like that made by MFJ. should probably stop and see hey did we uh, catch any fish nope let me go ahead and halt seems like you're not getting any replies 
I'm just curious. We were talking about this the other day. Who in the hell pays four hundred dollars for a Buckmaster? Four forty-nine. An off-center fed dipole. You can't make it yourself. Well, you could build quite a few antennas with four hundred dollars worth of wire. I mean, they're just out of their mind. Three hundred, and they make a three hundred watt. Antenna, what is it made out of? Dental floss? <laughs> That's nuts. These guys are just... God, they're just like... Greedy. I knew somebody bought a high gain vertical and they didn't really like it. I used to love sitting in here and just looking at all this stuff drooling. They really do carry a lot of stuff. I need some of these. I just picked up one of these today. Um, you can find these. This is crazy. Just watch. Um, 849 at Goodwill. This one's a little bit different than the one I have outside. But, the one outside, my kids took the bolts out. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are great because it just tightens down on whatever you put in there. So this one, I might actually fold it up and put it in the truck. But, um, they're not $8.00. I'm sure of it. So there's different sizes. The one I have in the backyard is actually really big compared to that one. Um, three foot self-supporting. I'm at the I'm at the measure of the other one. See what size it is. Of course, they don't give you a price on anything in HRO's catalog, which kind of sucks. Uh, but oh well. Towers. I seen these at the ham fest. I know they're not cheap. The big head. It's a cool looking radio. I'm sure it's probably not real cheap. One four six five two. Let's look up the five hundred dr. We see how much it is. Let's get the flash off of here. Oh, this stupid thing was, this guy called me and I'm sitting here trying to call CQ and I realized that I wasn't calling CQ. Um, let's go over here. FTM 500 DR. I bet you it's pretty close to its price as it is the name. Ooh, holiday. So, an FTDX 10 is $13.99. You can get a 7300 for $9.99. Yep, I was right. $479. Operators are standing by. Please call. It has the AES dual speaker system. It stands for Acoustic Enhanced Speaker System. Okay. Let's see. Click here. You want more savings? Of course I do. Um, I wonder how much they're charging for the... Uh... Come on. I wonder how much they're charging... So the 710 AES is 999. What was it like down to 899? Uh, last chance 2023 specials. The handbook. SDR play. 109 is good for that. Zygu. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys this. So the Zygu G90 is 399. I don't think they've ever sold it uh, for that cheap. 
And then they've got the 6100, which is the one I would go for. But this G90, I mean, I've been really careful with mine because it kind of feels, you know, flimsy, but um, it's really a good sounding radio. It's just that you need to have a fan on it if you're going to use it in the shack. Yeah, look, they are out of that thing everywhere. Not surprised. Um, let's go back over here. Okay. They don't have a very good picture of this. This thing, I think, was down to $4.99 on Amazon. Um, now I will, I, I promise you guys, if I make enough money on YouTube, I will order one of these and review it from you, uh, <laughs> review it for you. Um, but I hear that they're coming out with a new <clears throat> radio, like a 6200 that has plug-in module capability for 2 meter 440 and other stuff. Um, so I don't think unless this gets heavily clearanced, um, would it be a good idea to buy it at this point? I would... If you're thinking about buying one of these, I would wait because I think Zygu is going to release the 6200, and here's why. So let's go to uh, Radio did, 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 for whatever the hell their crazy name is. The Radio uh, did, 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 did. Okay. So, let's see here. Zygu Radios. Okay. Yep, see? 6200. Um, and so, they're offering that one for $599. They got the G90 for $445. Here's the G90's matching 100-watt amplifier. <clears throat> then, this one's... God, they got such bad pop-ups. 279 and then this is the original 5105. These here are, uh, what are these? These are, oh, Jesus Christ. Any tones. The, um, these are just CB radios. I don't care what you call them. The 10 meter radio. These are CB radios. This is very popular because it's an any tone of 555 or something like that, which apparently is um, big loud audio and it's the same board that's in the striker radio that all the cb guys like uh this one here is extremely similar um man look at this they're proud of these fans 70 dollars 59 dollars for the microphone oh it's a speaker microphone what's on page two the Sold out G sock, which you need if you want FM on the uh, G90. So, um, we we're gonna look at this here. There's not really a picture of this thing, they're kind of like just kind of showing it blank. Um, um well, I guess they're kind of showing. D D C D C D U C transceiver, um, RF direct sampling, broadband, multimode reception, HF fifty meter megahertz compact. Um, there was somewhere where they were saying it was going to um, uh, comes in with a built-in tuner, integrated standing wave scanner, voice pager. I have no idea what a voice pager would be. Um, does it not have a battery now? Like, that's strange. Is it receiver signal built in? This um, doesn't say the same thing as it did before. It was saying you can plug modules into it. And they've since uh, edited it. There was even a review of it. Somebody had reviewed the wrong thing. And it was somehow in here. So this has not been re reviewed because it has not been released. Um, it might be available in other countries, but not here because it's going to have to uh, be FCC approved before anything can happen. So 
Um, I, I, I don't know why it doesn't say coming soon or, you know, uh, get notified when it is released. So, anyway, if you're interested, you can look that up on the internet and, um, I don't really think there's any other info on it. Uh, I, I don't even know how to spell the crap. <laughs> what was the other one called? An X6200. Let's just look it up. Okay. Completely spell that wrong. And zig zig. Zygu X62 ham imports. Uh, okay. Remote control support means that you can control the device remotely over the internet or local network. A feature that was recently added to the X6100 in a firmware update. Oh, cool. The integrated standing wave scanner and voice pager add the device's versatility. Standing wave scanner allows you to monitor and perform antenna systems while the voice pager sounds like a way to pre-record a CQ call and play it back over the air. The device comes with an integrated modem. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Finally, the device offers external expansion capabilities for additional bands. This means you can potentially expand the range of the bands the radio covers with add-on transverters. In conclusion, the ultra-portable blah, blah, blah. I don't know what they're talking about. New details. Watch here. So, uh, I think this is, um, who, who is it? Doesn't say. Anyway, I'm sure if you look it up on YouTube, you'll find something. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm wiped out. It's been a long day.